Yeah, good morning everyone. So yesterday we learned about some font options. Huh? We learned what are font styles, font effects, how to change the character appearance. So we discussed about three things, font, font style, and uh, font effects. We discussed about two important points. Document is uh, created in design mode and document is created in review. For design mode, we have to use few important options and for review mode, others. We have tags classified. According to design and review mode, we have to change the tags. Next, after understanding this, we will use them now. We will see how to use these options and design a simple interface. For that, first, we will take one sample website example here. Let's open this Flipkart or some other shopping. In this uh, Flipkart shopping website, we will create one, uh, we will take one category here, some mobiles. I will select any mobile and uh, detail of that mobile page will open in this way. Uh, let's create the previous screen here. Yeah. Now I want to design this screen. So we need to design this screen. So in this screen, we have an image left side. Three columns are there, huh? every product. I'm talking about only this part, this area. These left side, these are menus you will see later. This area we have to design. That means now we need to arrange information into three columns. Arrange information into three columns. Let's design this. I will add a new HTML file in public folder. So flip cart shopping dot html or i will say flipkart mobiles dot html and uh, let's add a simple html page and uh, link the bootstrap icons here some mobiles yeah link relation style sheet href is uh, node modules bootstrap icons font bootstrap icons dot css okay now in the body section to design this screen we need three columns so we will create one division and uh, i will give a class for this division as product product is one division in that we need three columns then we have to use three divisions three containers we need this is for left column this is for, for center and this is for right three columns now are the three columns equal or some width changes there so the middle column have more space so we will do one thing so we will go and write style style for which container dot product container so display display what grid 
grid template columns. How many? We will use three fractions, six fractions, three fractions. That will be better. Okay. As of now, we don't have any content, so you can't see any columns here. Huh? So it's just empty. There is nothing there. But there are columns divided we need to keep now. I want in the middle column this sentence. In the middle column, I want that sentence. Then uh, this is the middle column here. We want the sentence a little bit larger, some style. We will use traditional HTML. So I am using font and I am using font face. Font face is uh, Arial and I am giving font size. Font size as some six. Maximum size we can give seven. We will put B. B is for bold. And uh, here we will put that sentence. We will put the sentence here. Now this is in the middle column. We have to display that here. The original size is this actual. This is the original size. Then seven looks larger. Six looks larger. We will use five. That means font size little bit adjusted. Now we want the color also. That means I will use color. So font have color attribute, face, size, color. Color I will use hash. This is uh, RGB. So RGB. Blue value I will give as suppose some 0F like this. That is the blue value I am defining. So this is FF. That is blue value defined here. Darker means you can give like uh, E, E, D, D. Huh? Little darker D, D. You can make this little dark. Right. That is the value for that okay actually they are links links we will learn later we just we are designing the screen beside this actually beside this real me bold the sentence here we will have a span in that we will put a class bi bi heart fill and uh, you can see it will display like this that is the icon we are having. And uh, if you want appearance for this icon, here again we have to use a font. And uh, for this, I will put color as gray. That is the color and it will apply like that. That is the gray color defined for that. Okay, that is in the middle. Now below this, below this, we need these points. Huh? And you know how to manage these points. These are the points we need to define below. I will copy these points and put it in some notepad. And let's individually manage these. Huh? So what you have to do, we have to display them below this. So I will put this in one division again. That means top line is in one division. This is actually title. Below the title, another division. Here we will put an UL. UL is unordered list. Unordered list will have so many uh, items will be there. Let's copy them. Actually, all these items, for every item, we have to put a LI. An LI for the first one and li for second so li for third so li for fourth okay li for fifth like this your wish you can add any what you want here i'll remove this and just keep it this way okay now you can see this is the unordered list we are having there an ordered list is here. 
I want to change font size and I want to set some space between them, font style, all these. Then what you have to do for this, we have to just use for unordered list. I'm using a font here. I'm completely depending on HTML now. I'm not using much styles. By using styles, you can say font color and all, but because we learned this font, we are trying to apply them. Huh? The color is uh, gray. Gray, okay. And uh, that is fine. You can see that is the gray color, but we want uh, size also a little bit adjusted for that. That means uh, we will give size as four. Font size looks okay. Font face also we will give as Arial. We have the font face also Arial. We want some gap between the list items, which we cannot do with our uh, HTML. So what you have to do in style, wherever list item is present for list item, actually we have margin bottom generally we have line height we have line height line height suppose i given 20 pixels line height so it is lesser 50 pixel or 40 pixel you can see some space will come we can apply line height line height will adjust the gap what is the difference between margin bottom and line height the problem with margin bottom is if you give margin bottom you can give margin bottom but what will happen suppose we have first item we given margin bottom that means second item will be adjusted here if i give margin bottom what will happen is margin will be set for this last line also for last line also margin bottom will come but there is nothing below it so that is the reason if i give line height what will happen it will set the height between the lines and it will stop if i give margin bottom it will set bottom also some space will be there so you have to stop here only then better you can use line height it's your wish you can use both of them because if you want some gap below then use margin bot otherwise you can just give line height one more this uh, list looks little indented little indented we are not giving any indents but list items already have indents list items data definitions already have some indentation indentation means some space from the left margin we are not giving anything by default they have in that case what you can do is for list items you can give margin left actually margin left by default they are at zero pixel that means no change you can give negative value minus 10 that means it will move little left we can say minus 15 then it will be left so minus 20, it will be left. That's how we can manage. So by default, if there is some indent, which we don't want, then we can remove that and bring it back by using a negative value. If you give more minus, it will go outside the margin also, right? So this is the middle container ready. Now we need a right side one. We need a right side one to design. The middle is ready, right? Right side, we have to design this 16,099. So here, the right column is this one. In the right column, we will write again a container. In the container, we will write font. In that, we will use bold and the font size. Size, we will keep as six and uh, font face is equal to Arial and uh, this bold is uh, having ampersand hash 8377 semicolon. 
this will put indian rupee symbol for in indian rupee that symbol that character is used for indian rupee symbol later i will give a list of characters for different symbols no need to remember them we will have one short list so that you can use them we will see initially this is for indian rupee symbol that is 16000 so like this it is defined that is the option defined like this we are adding that 16000 here right beside that picture will come pictures we are going to see later as of now we are recording in uh, progress it is normal gray color so i will use a font font face is equal to arial font uh, color is equal to gray right and uh, here i will give again value ampersand hash 8377 semicolon it is uh, 19000 and i need to strike out now then we have to use we can use del or we can use strike we will use a strike why because del is done in reviews we have to define that strike and uh, beside this i will put another font so here some uh, size is equal to 4 same face is equal to arial and color is equal to green so color is equal to green and uh, here i will define 15% of that's the word i am writing there and uh, let's put this little bit bold also right now that is the appearance here i want little down you can adjust that so for that you need margins so this is uh, suppose we have put we kept an id uh, sorry class as what price and what we will do is we will write here wherever price is there margin top above na margin top some 20 pixel that means some space will be adjusted here 20 is very much more here 15 enough 10 is enough that's okay that is how we need to configure now we have the last center and right ready now we need for different pro okay yeah let's continue so here horizontal line hr hr is used for horizontal line hr so it is for horizontal line we can define a horizontal line actually we can use border but we have horizontal line separate right horizontal line you can give with some attributes like hr and uh, you can define uh, 
horizontal line size you can define size so you can configure color we can define like no shade these are the attributes for horizontal line we can even define width these are the options you can give for horizontal line line size color no shade and width usually here what i am doing i am adding a horizontal line simply and uh, you can see a horizontal line comes here a horizontal line comes here right so you can actually define horizontal line no shade no shade then it will be dark you can define the width and the size suppose 3 4 pixels you can add you can define the horizontal line size and configure that so this is uh, you can add color also we can put a color some red gray different colors i will just keep it ordinary as this now below this horizontal line i am uh, copying another product details that means below the horizontal line i am adding one more product details here you can change some product name that means here you can change the different name size different style for that now you can see you have two products right you can use different suppose uh, here uh, another option i am giving this is second one right i am just giving some 18000 and uh, here i said some 22000 and here i am changing some uh, details for that so what is the name here we are having yeah so this is some 256 gb like this and you have different options here so we can add multiple we can define multiple and we can add multiple here we are not completely depending on styles we are depending on the font options that we have learned font font styles and font effects also we can use here i am using font bold strike out like options and designing this this is basically example with our general content now in this we have images we need to learn how to keep these images if we can keep those images then we can achieve such real Uh, appearance how they have in the page so now very major concept here is uh, example for horizontal line is this hr we can define size equal to some three some color is equal to red and put no shade you can width also you can adjust you can put width as 400 pixels it will keep it like this now once we know this the example i will paste here this is a flip cart a uh, flip cart yeah so flip cart product design so i will paste this code whatever the code we have seen here this is the code this is the flip cart product code that we have designed right here all the major concentration is about using the fonts working with the fonts now here how we can use images in html this is the biggest one how we can use images in html how we can put images how you can define images in html that is the first option so 
in order to work with images we need lot of knowledge about images first you cannot blindly put images all these days as not a professional developer you may be using images without knowing what they are without knowing what is their purpose because majority 100 out of 199% people don't know what is and when jpg is used what is png when png is used nobody knows you just know some formats are there for images but as a developer you cannot use every image for every purpose the images are designed for different purpose we need to create them and we need to use them reasonably what are those let's see actually in order to work with images you should know web will not support will not support support all types of images web will not support all types of images so you have to you have to embed images embed means integrate embed images that are that are supported supported by browsers you have to embed images that are supported by browsers and uh, the popular the popular image formats supported by browsers are there are so many image formats the popular image formats supported by browsers we have so many image formats image formats like we have the image format jpg jpg is one image format jpg is actually joint photographic group jpg is joint photographic group usually its a type is called as image slash jpeg image slash jpeg generally it have extensions dot jpg it have extensions like dot jpeg and uh, it have extensions like jfif these are the extensions of jpg files actually jpg jpeg and jfif so these are images of one type what is the purpose i will tell you later first i am giving the list of images which you can use for web design images on computer are so many types every type of image you cannot use on computers images are available in various types and all types are not supported for internet so while designing websites you cannot put every type of image that is available in a computer web supports only few types you have to use only those right and in that jpg is one another one so we have a p n g animated animated portable portable network graphics animated portable network graphics a p n g it will have the type image slash a p n g usually extension it will have the extension the files extension will be dot apng the extension will be apng we also have png png is portable network graphics and image slash png and usually its extension is png 
animated portable network graphics and portable network graphics we have gif graphic interchange format interchange format graphic interchange format image slash gif we have gif extension will be dot gif gif is graphic interchange format we have a bmp bmp that is bitmap bitmap so image slash bmp bmp it will be dot bmp the extension will be dot bmp bitmaps so we have another image format so that is uh, we have tiff tagged tagged image file format so it will be image slash tiff and dot tiff that is tiff so we have ico it is actually microsoft icon so so it is image slash ico and dot ico is the extension for ico so we have uh, another svg this is scalar scalar vector graphics vector graphics graphics so here we have image slash svg and dot svg svg we have another web p we have another format that is web p this is a web picture web picture this is image slash web p and dot web p these are the extensions these are all the images you can use on internet anything other than that don't try anything outside this you cannot use for internet so in a computing system images can be various types and internet will not support all types internet supports only these types you can use only these types and uh, here you have one doubt like what is image slash and what is dot this actually you have to note every file in computing system every file in computing system comprises of comprises of two parts actual uh, two important things one is mime type another one extension this is very important mime type and extension mime type is actually mime is multi purpose internet mail extensions it is multi purpose internet mail extensions mime type actually every mime supports supports multiple extensions every mime supports multiple extensions this is very important actually that means actually image slash jpg jpeg is mime type and it extensions you have seen jpg jpeg jf if all these are extensions for example i will tell you why you need both of them for example suppose application application slash pdf and its extension is dot pdf its mime type is application slash pdf i will tell you what is difference actually suppose if i ask you that when i save any file in ms paint with which extension the file can be saved suppose ms paint is an application in which extension it saves its files 
there are more than 20 30 extensions more than 20 30 extensions for ms paint so for example you see this is ms paint i am saving a file i am saving any file then you see it's a type it will show here type and you can see here type there are so many types suppose if i ask like suppose there is a software like ms word suppose ms word or ms excel in excel if i save any file what will be the extension so many dot excel s dot excel sx dot csv dot you can save as html dot html that means excel have more than 20 30 extensions you know after all one or two about it suppose you see this is excel software and i am saving any file in excel then you can see here save type you can see so many other you can see so many types are there excel workbook macro enabled workbook binary workbook xml data web page template you can save excel in more than 20 formats now every format will have a different extension every format have a different extension that means there may be 20 extensions for excel now i asked my developer to get all excel files i asked my developer to copy all excel files i asked him that write a program to read all excel files but excel files may be in 20 formats then developer have to write every format then how many formats he will remember and he may miss any format sometimes then we as a developer we don't use these extensions we use mime type the mime type is application slash ms excel as a developer i will use this mime type under one mime type all these extensions will come so developer doesn't depends on much of extensions developer depends on mime type one mime type will support several extensions if you want to deal with only specific that means you don't want all 20 you want only excel s then you have to write individually if you want to refer all then you no need to refer all 20 extensions you have to refer only one mime type under one mime type all extensions are present extensions are present actually I told you in our computer, we have a web server. You remembered? In our computer, we have a web server called IAS. You can open that IAS web server. This is the web server. If there is no web server, no problem. I am just showing you the concept. Huh? Now, don't come with a complaint that web server is not there in my computer. I am just showing you the concept, huh? just verifying, right? You see, in this web server, there is a MIME types category. It is a MIME types category. When I open this MIME types, you will see the extension and MIME type will be there. And you can observe the extension ACCDB, ACCDE, ACCDT. These three extensions belong to one software called MS Access. That means under one MIME type, there will be several extensions. As a developer, if I can use this MIME type, I can read all these extensions. So a developer must know two things. He must know the MIME type and he must know the extension. That means generally browsers, when they are displaying pictures, 
they will not care about your extension they will care about mime type if that mime type is not supported by browser automatically it will not display it will not display so it is very important for you to understand what is mime type and what is extension as of now in order to access and use any image first you should know these basic things right i will tell you what is difference between them what is difference between them so what are the formats supported jpg png apng gif bitmap tiff ico svg and webp these are the formats supported for web now the question is when to use them what is difference between them right actually you should know that apng and png both belongs to same family so apng png these images have high definition hd these have high definition high definition means high quality these will have more pixels more pixels if a image is having more pixels then it will have good quality that means high definition depends on how many pixels it is having if less pixels the quality will be reduced hd that means more pixels more pixels so hd because of more pixels but problem is it occupies more space more space it occupies more space so it is high quality but it occupies more space so as a developer when to use these type of pictures so when to use this pictures and uh, one more point is apng are animated also apng are animated that means they can have animation in a picture picture can have some blinking some rotating some animation may be there so these have high definitions and these will have more pixels but they occupy more space more space in memory so unnecessarily we cannot use them when to use these images suppose when to use these images if you want to provide image for downloading downloading not viewing viewing on screen on screen then then use this png format that means not viewing on screen downloading and using you may be i already told you don't come with alternative you may be saying that sir i can download jpg you can download anything on internet right don't come with that point at all i already told you i don't care we don't care whether you download jpg or something else on internet whatever is there you can download so we don't care about that point at all now don't come with that kind of question that i can download jpg also so we are not talking about what you can we are talking about what it should be as per the standard as per the standard png and apng are meant for not on screen display on screen display means i want to show some photo just only for watching on screen then don't use png because png will occupy more space and on internet you should know that we have to pay money for space right we have to purchase space so you will not get free space so if 1 mb increased you have to pay more that means you have to pay for space that is the reason you cannot waste space right you cannot put high quality pictures on screen so for that they occupy more space you have to buy space for example actually later in hosting i will tell you suppose you want a website www.someyournname.com you have to buy 
the domain first you have to buy the domain how much cost for this domain you can even get for 40 rupees also for 30 rupees 40 rupees also you can get domain so you can get for 250 rupees 100 rupees also domain sometimes domain can be domain can be even 50 lakhs also 50 lakhs 5 crores 6 crores also domain can be there that means only name you have to buy because some domains are in very much demand it will go to auction you have to pay more for that for example you see this is go daddy yeah this is the domain one of the popular domain seller huh? you see here here there are domains and i will go to domain auctions see i am searching for domain actually first i will show you domain search suppose i am searching for naresh it it is searching for naresh it and it says that naresh it is already taken is already taken naresh it.com is already taken there is some naresh yes.com 499 rupees per year you pay 499 you will get this name for you only name that means don't think that you have a website now you purchased only name you purchased only name but you see here i will take you to the auctions now you saw 450 rupees is there huh? it is not hosting it is auctions domain domain auctions yeah i will take you to the domain auctions you can see these domains are in auction you can see these are the domains in auction these domains are in auction so these domains are in auction suppose there is a domain here uh, what is it yeah this is the domain we are having some oven.com and you see the domain cost is uh, 8 lakh 56 thousand that is the domain cost you may be thinking like anybody will purchase that this here you can see it is 13 lakh this domain is 13 lakh you may ask like anybody purchase that of course people purchase for 40 lakhs 50 lakhs also i i hope you know that because for example you know people purchase car car cost is 5 lakhs or 7 lakhs or 8 lakhs they purchase a fancy number for 10 15 lakhs you know you know car cost is 10 lakhs only number cost 15 lakhs the number 9997886 they have to give a closed uh, auction for that you know that money gone if they haven't purchased it right that means they put an auction for that put an auction for that that means you may for example you purchased a domain by name www.ipl.com now ipl people badly want it then they will say that i will give you 50 crores give me overnight you are a millionaire right because they badly want it and you have it that is yours legally you purchased it and they want it and they are ready to pay 50 crores to you some people do such business right that means they purchase lot of domains and they sell for more cost actually domain costs are cheaper because already they have reserved and some companies badly need their name exactly it is matching to their business they want badly then they they pay more money that means you purchased for 400 rupees you can sell for 4 lakh rupees you can sell for 40 50 000 rupees depends right sometimes nobody will purchase right so here you purchased website name only domain but it is not finished for this website you need to design web pages pictures and all for that you have to purchase hosting space also you have to purchase hosting space 
that means you see this website now in this website yeah in this website let's go to hosting category in hosting category web hosting you can see they will show you different tariffs they say that 30 gb storage 512 mb ram means processor then uh, it is 9119 per month 512 gb ram the uh, mb ram that is 512 mb ram it doesn't make much for large websites they need to purchase so you see 2 gb 3 gb space they have to purchase and see this is one website 100 gb storage 10 databases and it is 219 per month if you want more speed more space then you have to pay more money now remember you have to pay for space not only that another if your website want emails you know suppose your website want emails email servers are different your website servers are different email servers are different you have to purchase email again you have to purchase emails separate that means you see there is a email hosting also let's say you see email when I go to email category, you can see that email also they are giving here. You see per user, per user means for one email, 29 rupees per month. That is the reason if you go to small scale companies, small scale companies as an employee and you ask them, you give email on your company name dot com. He will say that no need you use your Gmail. Why? Because if I have to give a personalized email at my company name, 30 rupees it will cost per me per every month on you. And some companies says that we don't want to invest even 30 rupees on you. So you use your Gmail only. Right? They will keep only three, four emails. One for manager, one for HR, another for some uh, help people, something else. Three, four emails only they will maintain. Right? You cannot have hundreds of emails given to millions of people. It's not possible. For that, you have to invest crores of rupees then. So email, every email costs per month, hosting space costs per month, your domain costs per year. But however, with all these minimum, you will get maintenance of approximately 5,000, 6,000 per year. 5,000 per year, 4,000, 5,000 per year, reasonably, a small website you can maintain. If you need more database interactions, you need to invest more on that. More on that. Per year, 4,000 is enough for a website, for a website maintenance, right? Usually, so you cannot waste space on internet. So that is the reason. If you upload one PNG file, one PNG file will be approximately 3 MB, 4 MB. Right? 3 MB, 4 MB. That means it's very huge. You cannot have such large images. That is the reason when to use PNG and uh, APNG. When you want to provide some images, you will just put links. You will say that these are the links, download those images. You will put a simple thumbnail, thumbnail, small thumbnail, and you will see that download. That means it is not meant for open and viewing. It is meant for downloading. Then better go with PNG. That is the reason you will see lot of images will be JPG. JPG is also HD, high definition. It is also having more pixels, more pixels, but it will, it is compressed compressed it is also hd it is also having more pixels but compressed compressed means size reduced size reduced almost 80 percent size reduced than png that means if png is occupying 500 mb so this jpg will occupy 30 mb or so much 30 or 20 25 mb it will occupy JPG is JPG, JPG or JPEG. These are compressed. These are good in quality. 
but they are compressed that means what is problem in them is so that means they will lose quality that means so quality quality reduces reduces when it is when it is stretched when it is stretched the quality will reduce you are stretching the image the quality will reduce because it is compressed one if it is compressed one the quality will reduce you cannot stretch the image and keep it on the screen sometimes image is not fit you have to stretch it but jpgs when you stretch they start losing the quality so you want to display on screen that means if you want on screen display right if you want on screen on screen display then use jpg if you want on screen display then use jpg just like advertisement banners some photos you want to show on screen they are not majorly meant for downloading remember on internet anything can be downloaded image some images you cannot download i will tell you but uh, jpg can be downloaded png can be downloaded but as a developer our intention of jpg is not to download to provide on screen that is the reason one more point you should know is uh, uh, we have seen lot of people suppose you have a pen drive you have some jpg photos on your computer the pen drive capacity is suppose the pen drive capacity is some 16 gb pen drive and you have some 40 photos are there and these 40 photos are having 17 gb 17 gb that means obviously they will not fit into this 16 gb pen drive then generally these all photos are jpg type understood they are jpg type now you will think that only 1 gb is extra coming let's compress means zip am i right we will try to zip any sensible computer operator will not zip jpg files because they are already zipped files because you don't know about jpg then you will still be zipping those files they useless no time waste so compressing zipping the jpg files will not adjust much space only 2% space 1% space will adjust that doesn't help any sensible computer operator and programmer will not try to compress jpg files because jpg is already a compressed already a compressed so technically anybody knows about jpg he will never compress them time waste nothing will happen only 1 2% space will be adjusted that doesn't matter for us so the point about jpg is that later i will show you but see simple example i will give here suppose uh, we are having some images huh? suppose we are having some images uh, let's take some images uh desktop files i have some yeah yeah there is a file here this is this is a png file this is a png file this is a png file and you see its size is its size is how much 2.5 mb its size is 2.5 mb same photo let's go to file save save as save as jpg i am saving as jpg same photo let's save on desktop on my desktop i will save here i will give the name car jpg and type i am selecting as jpg and uh, i will save it now original file was how much 2.45 mb 2.45 mb now you see 515 kb color is same quality is same 500 kb that means very less it is it was 2.45 mb that means it is compressed but image looks same image looks same the same quality same definition but it will lose quality now once you start stretching it 
then you will lose the quality that means you start stretching the image the quality will reduce the quality will reduce once you start stretching the images but png will be little better when you are stretching they will have the correct quality but up to certain limit only you keep on stretching means obviously it will also reduce the quality but it is better than which one jpg better than jpg so when to use this jpg and when to use png when you are giving images for downloading and using go with png when you are giving for on screen displaying then better go with jpg advertisements banners everything you keep through jpg only right wallpapers and all these you keep through png because they are meant for downloading and using them then you use as png another one is gif graphic interchange format it have so it have only 256 colors only 256 colors that means less quality you can say low quality we have low quality images are having low quality image quality is very less low quality images so and uh, here jpg i missed one point what is it jpg is less space less size na jpg is less size huh? it will occupy less space in memory right because it is already compressed now gif has low quality low quality it is 256 colors size size same as png so png or jpg size same size will not uh differ size will not differ they will be same means size as you can say original size as original it will not change as original image how much size is there but color will reduce color quality will reduce but one advantage is gif can be animated can be animated animated so when to use gif so if you want if you want buttons so buttons you want so symbols symbols you want bullets bullets you want logos so you can do with by using gif suppose you are creating a button button like home button contact button icon symbols you are creating then you can go with bullets already i told you na that's why i saved the bullets in which format gif because they are very small bullets are very small even you have a hd image nothing matters because less colors you see suppose here currently image is in which format jpg format let's save this in gif format let's save this in gif format save as gif format i am trying to save as car gif okay now when i save immediately it shows a message the color quality might be reduced because gif color quality will be reduced obviously it supports only 256 colors other images other images support 80 million colors our computer screen capacity 80 million colors 80 million color shades minimum that is the minimum capacity of a computer screen 80 million colors and only 256 colors for gif that is the reason color quality will be reduced it cannot show high quality images but gif can be animated you can have animated gifs animated gifs but they will not be very clear in quality less quality so mostly we use these for bullets icons images small uh, small advertisement banners logos for them we better go with which format gif gif what is the format gif gif format so we have another important in the image format this is bitmap bitmap is actually binary binary format binary format bitmap is actually binary format it is it is uh, 
it is good for it is good for transporting transporting in network in network it is good for transporting in network it is good for transporting in network bitmap is binary format that means image is stored in a binary form if image is converted in a binary form and used in a binary form it is easy to travel through network that means if you want some images that means you can simply say that sharing images images across across so wire wired or wireless wireless network network then better you can go with bmp so you have some image the main intention of image is sharing every image is not meant for sharing but the intention of that image is you can share and broadcast and so see somewhere through bluetooth you can share it through wireless communication you can share through wired you can transport it in that case better use bitmap because they will be very easy to transport because bitmap is in binary form computers can easily transport binary forms electronic devices can easily transport binary forms your images main intention is to transport and carry one place to another then you go with bmps otherwise don't use bmp because bmp have problem the problem with bmp is actually generally when you are dealing with bmp so browser may block browsers may block block bmp because any binary format data is coming from another location browsers will block them because they think that they have threat some binary format content is coming into your computer that means browser think that some virus is coming they will immediately block such things that is the reason your images may be blocked if blocks are not there then it will easily transport while transporting you know our computers will have a firewall you know that everybody know that right network everything have to travel through firewall right before your antivirus comes to picture firewall will be there which will be identifying what is coming into your computer this firewall is actually you call defender windows have a defender that means it will defend such suspicious data coming into your computer and it will block that means many times these type of images will be blocked you have to be very careful make sure that you allow them firewalls are not blocking them so that is the problem with bmp type so but they are good for transporting all right if they are lightweight and easy for transporting that is bitmap another very important these days very popular is svg svg this is very popular this is actually xml format image in many interviews they ask this question question remember in many interviews even for experienced people they ask which image is in xml format svg image is in xml format what is the specialty of svg actually svg is not pixel based not pixel based svg is not pixel based it is vector based it is vector based vector based is nothing but vector based image quality image quality increases increases when while while zooming while changing while changing the zoom zoom percent the image quality increase increases increases while changing the zoom percent that means these are not pixel based these are vector based we call them as vector based vector based images these days these are very much important so and they are in xml format xml format images are not infected not infected 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 with virus there is no virus threat because generally images may be infected with virus image files may be infected with virus if you download an image file it may have virus that is the reason many times your browser will block some images they say that this image is not good for downloading i blocked it 
these days browsers will immediately block if it is having certain virus threat so technically svg cannot be infected with virus and svg will is not pixel based pixel based advantage is if you are zooming the quality increases and the best example for this is so the best example google maps google maps is complete svg is complete svg format you increase you zoom the quality increases you are zooming the quality increases generally any picture zooming quality decreases but in maps you zoom the quality increases that is all svg google maps is completely designed in svg not only google maps for example you see some websites like real estate websites when you see real estate websites they will give a building plan small plan you open it and you start zooming it it will increase the quality and show the clear one means very big architectural diagrams will be there very big architectural diagrams will be there we cannot see them properly in normal size uh, what we do we start zooming it when zooming then size increases these days you can see these in your general shopping sites also in shopping sites you will see lot of svg type of images in shopping sites you see lot of svg type that means in a shopping site a product image when we are zooming the product image automatically the product quality will be increased suppose you you know already right suppose we have flip cart so this is flip cart yeah in this flip cart we have some images and you are having these images some images are there this is the image you see when i move the mouse the quality increases zoom that means the zoom percent increases google maps everything na maps.google.com right google maps anything you are using here and you are increasing you are increasing you see it is zoom percent the quality will be same this is entire png format this is and uh, sorry svg format this is entire svg format so for these kind of images we use svg we use svg that means wherever you want images to be displayed on website which can be viewed with zoom right then we have to design in svg these days most svg type of images will be there and uh, very recently we have another one is webp we have another webp webp is nothing but embedded embedded into web page webp is embedded into web page that means you cannot download them you cannot download you cannot download so individual in image these days uh this is very recent very recently we are using this webp very recent still our developers are not completely aware of these webp things already we are using in various occasions now you see several websites in a website i hope you have tried some websites you in order to save any picture you can right click on the picture am i right in order to save a picture you can right click on the picture and select save picture as save image as but when you select save image as some websites these days they will save complete web page now don't think that image is saved image will not save complete web page will save these are embedded these are embedded images the recently we are using these kind of images so they cannot download this image they can download the previous thumbnail small one they cannot download this one if they try to download it will download entire page entire page this is the recent format of images actually the previous image here sometimes you can download you can see this is save image as when i save this is also web page they are giving right some websites will give thumbnails jpg and original file webp embedded that means you cannot you cannot download these images right that means if you try to download these images and so, but remember on internet in computer devices there is no permanent security right 
so any computer developer should not say that i am designing a completely secured application it is like joke there is no security right suppose i am using my laptop i forgot password right i forgot password then throw laptop huh? then take to an hardware engineer he will unlock he will reset and he will give to you then what is security understand there is no security there is no security at all 100% there is no security that means you may feel like security it will it will prevent from many people but not from everybody right people who know the technique how to crack it they will crack it right for example on phone pay or some paytm when you they will not take you allow to take screenshot am i right but you can take another mobile and take photo na now what is that what is that how it is secured right is it security right they are not allowing screenshot i will take another mobile and take photo finish right these are all see electronic device no security don't think imagine about security of electronic devices anything you can break anything you can break you know tim cook so apple ceo when he visited hyderabad last year he he first went to jagdish market in hyderabad do you know jagdish market so in hyderabad it is the location where for 500 rupees they will unlock an iphone which is locked by their senior people means their technicians that means in a small box a person will sit with a simple laptop and a computer he is hacking apple pc apple sites he is hacking apple sites right and he he wants to know how these people are doing for 500 rupees right he wanted to know that means my senior genius technicians are protecting my website my applications and this person in hyderabad sitting in a box and hacking it right that means he is hacking them he is unlocking iphones right that means the point here is no security nothing just you have to think that little bit secured that means it is not for everybody it prevents from 95% people but what that 5% that's not under our control that is the reason we should use with little cautious right so the point here is webp is completely embedded into page you cannot separate the image it will download entire image that is webp format these are all the image format anything we missed i see already we learned na tiff is there one more yeah there is another option tiff tiff is actually sliced image format sliced image format tiff actually this is used for scanned images scanned images you you have seen scanner suppose you are using a scanner you put a photo in the scanner you know entire photo will not be scanned part by part will be scanned have you seen part by part half scanned after that half after that half part by part scans and finally it combines into one such images if you upload on to internet they load part by part half image loaded after that half image loaded after that half image these days we are not using them these days what we are doing we are keeping a blank screen and suddenly complete picture will come part by part loading those days gone right that type of images are called scan that are sliced they are tiff mostly for scanned documents we it will be in which format tiff but what we do we directly don't use tiff we we scan as tiff convert it into jpg and we will upload into websites we will not directly use tiff format these are sliced image formats right these are all the image formats available so all these days you know that images have so many extensions but as a developer you should know for which purpose which type of image is good 
now once you know this we will see how to download the images and use them for our websites that we'll see tomorrow right tomorrow we will see how to put images image tags and other options then we can design some better screens now okay tomorrow we'll continue